when you hear that, what do you think? Uh, got to be better. You know, um, two slow starts the last two games. Uh, we just got to be better. We're a veteran group. Um, we've been through the wars, and we got to lead these guys better. How do you remedy a slow start? I mean, man, tell us how that works. Uh, watch film and learn from it. You know, I think uh, I don't think we weren't like slow as we were in Tennessee. Um, I think we didn't really make no shots. I think we kind of allowed that to affect us a little bit. So I think we just got to be better. Um, when the offense is not working, we definitely got to rely on our defense, uh, rely on our principles. So yeah. And last thing, talk about the comparison between Tennessee and James Madison. What's the difference between those type of two teams? Um, they were both physical, um, active. Uh, I would just say that I don't know. I don't really know the difference. I don't think there was really no big, big difference. Uh, James Madison played really well tonight. Um, hats off to them, and uh, I think they did a good job. Right, thank you. Tom talked about not exactly knowing where he's at with you guys in terms of leadership and, and all that. I mean, how much onus do you take being, a, you know, the upperclassmen to kind of reel that in and uh, get you guys right? I take all the onus, you know. Being a point guard, you are an extension of the coach. Um, so I definitely got to be better in that aspect. Um, so I got to I gotta up my leadership and, uh, and rally these guys. Because what has it gotten done that needs to change? I mean, is there something that just like a lot of these legs of days ago, or is it just like something uh, that didn't go right? I mean, I think our carryover. Um, I think we've been having – we had a good week of practice. Um, I think we just got to bring it to the game, you know. Um, I think we go harder in practice than we do to start the game, and then we start – down and then we kick it in gear and it's always kind of too late. So, you know, we just got to kind of start off better and just carry over our practice uh, to the game. What will rallying the guys entail? What, what do you guys need to do now that's been missing thus far? Uh, locking in all across the board, you know, with everything. Um, uh, defensively first, um, offensively, and uh, just continue to trust in our work and, and trust in each other. So, just continue to do that. Um, and, and, and band together right now. Uh, this is a tough time, you know. We don't expect to come out and lose. Um, so, you know, just kind of got to rally the guys and just stay positive through it all and, and learn from our mistakes. What do you think was missing tonight? Um, I think our aggression um, early on. I think we were aggressive in spurts. Um, I think we got to put a full 40 minutes together. I've been saying this since last year. We haven't been doing it, and uh, we're a veteran group, and we know better than that. So uh, we just got to put a full 40 together. Tom talked about this not being, uh, you know, uh, a wake-up call or anything for you guys, but is it something that kind of gives you more heightened sense of what it takes to win in this league night in and night out? Uh, yeah, most definitely. I think we have a good understanding. And, uh, I think we just got to understand that we're going to be the hunted um, and continue to come bring it every night. Um, prior years before, we were the hunties. So, you know, we got to do a better job of just bringing it every night and not being like this. How important is it to not let this game carry over into this Thursday's game? Uh, I think it's very important, but I think we also have to understand what we didn't do um, and learn from it so it doesn't happen again on Thursday. Uh, so I think we just got to kind of learn from this game um, and take everything that comes with it. Thank you, sir. Yep. What, what do you think kind of led to just the, the slow start today? Uh, I think they were their aggressive first. Um, they came out really aggressive. Um, I think we kind of – you know, we're going through the motions a little bit, um, and then we kind of figured it out. And then, you know, playing from behind is not good. Um, we always want to get out to a good start, so we just got to be the aggressor. Coach was, pretty, coach was pretty critical of the veterans and the leaders on this team. How did you guys respond to that? Like, how did how you respond, I guess, in practice in the next couple of days? Well, we got to be better. There's no excuses. Uh, the veterans got to be better. We're a veteran group. Um, we just got to be better all across the board. The shooting, did you feel like you guys were getting the shots you wanted that were falling, or what was that? Yeah, I think we definitely were getting the shots we wanted. Um, shooting one for 20 from the three is, is, is absurd. Um, so, you know, we definitely got to get back to the drawing board. Um, I don't think that ever happened again, to be honest. Um, I don't know what it was tonight, but when that's not ha when the shots are not falling, you got to find other ways to win, and I think we didn't do a good job of that. What's the explanation of the free throw line? I mean, is it something where that carries over from the other shots? Or? I mean, I don't really know. I, we, we shoot free throws every day. Um, we shoot 90% as a team every day, and um, got to carry it over. What surprised you about this, AJ, do you think? Like, when you look back, or, or even right now at the moment, I guess, but what surprises you about how you guys came out and just double high, I guess? Uh, I mean, we didn't start good, um, so the result doesn't really surprise me. Um, I think we, we fought um, fought when we were down, but uh, we couldn't finish it. So we couldn't we couldn't finish the game out. Um, we had to do a better job of closing. How much do you 
much did their defense have to do with it? Were they, I know they were out on Tyson pretty tightly. What do you think about their defense, especially the perimeter uh, defense as a whole? Uh, I mean, I think they played good defense, but I don't think it really – I think we got a lot of open shots that we didn't make. Um, and that's not happening, especially from our shooters. Um, Tyson on five from three, I, I don't really know what Jaden shot, but that's not the norm, you know. So we got to figure it out, get back to the drum board. What did you think of Kamari Carr today? how he kind of handled his first game? Um, I mean, I think he handled it really well, uh, especially with the way he played um, in the Tennessee game. Uh, I think it, it carried over, and uh, I think that's what we, we got to kind of expect from him going forward. So it's, it's definitely a good start for him. Um, and we just got to put it all together now. He was starting like, some of the exhibition games, so I talked to a few guys in here about um, being ranked so highly and then knowing that that means you have to have a target on your back every time you come out to the court and how you guys wanted to embrace that. Um, is this a reality check to look at as a wake-up call? Like, Where does this stand in the grand scope of like the long season? Uh, I mean, I think coming to Michigan State is a target on your back anyway. Um, I mean, the, the three years, my prior three years, we weren't ranked as high. Um, but coming in with expectation is definitely kind of something that other teams are looking at and, and, and going to give us our best shot every night. So we kind of got to understand that, that everyone's coming with their best punch. Um, so we got to always be the guys dishing it out. AJ, the first 10 minutes of these last couple of games, including that last exhibition game at Tennessee, I have gone off to slow starts. How can you personally steady this shift or help steady this shift to ensure you guys get off to a better start this Thursday? Um, just continue to put guys in better positions so we are start off to a better start. You know, um, being a point guard, being an extension of the coach, I got to do a better job of um, getting my guys in the right spots and um, to succeed. So um, a lot of that falls on me, and uh, I got to learn from it um, and, and move forward. One or two more for AJ. What does being a better leader look like for you? Um, doing the positive work and doing the negative work as well. Um, just holding my guys accountable, holding myself accountable, um, leading by example. Um, you can't lead your guys if you're not doing it yourself. Um, you can't expect anything out of them if you're not doing it yourself. So just continue to lead by example and, and, and rally the guys. AJ, a couple of tic tac files for you tonight. How do you make sure that you focus and lock in on defense without keeping your hands or without putting your hands on the other team? Um, learning from it. Um, watching it and learning from it. I'm um, seeing what I did wrong and uh, not letting it happen again. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.